this shit's gonna be interesting as hell. Oh, I know. I'm so fucking. I'm so sick. excited for this shit, dude. Okay, okay, hang. On. Question, question, question. Yep. I'm just gonna make what a bold prediction right now. Picture? This bitch in the front and like this gray thing is gonna be the biggest bitch in this entire video. I'm just gonna call that right now. I don't she think looks so. Like a nope. Bitch, I don't bro. think so. I think it's gonna no? be. I think it's gonna be. Or the, uh, fat, gonna chick. Be the fat chick. Yeah, yeah, I think it's gonna sure. be. I think it's gonna be the one in black, so the third one in. Yeah, she couldn't eat all the, the fucking corn dogs at once, anyways. Hey, hey, no, no sorry, fat I'm sorry, shaming. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it just kind of happened. <laughs> Let's go. White people have culture. Of course they do, man. They got <laughs> they got pumpkin spice latte. They got, Hell yeah. Um, they got but lasagna. You, Lasagna is a fucking Italian thing. What? No, I mean, yeah. so Italians are white, so it makes sense. Um, so I I believe if you put it as white people have culture, I feel like the answer is no. But yeah, if you're you. like, that's like specifically pointing out, do African Americans have culture? Well, yes, they have culture, but their culture is different than Zimbabwe culture. Three, two. Oh, yeah, the third one in, bro, you were talking about for sure. We're all technically white. Yeah. If you're from England, if you're from Australia, if you're from wherever, South Africa, you know, we all have these crazy places. We right, I actually have two of my best friends are from South Africa, and they're white. Come from, and huh? the people are around, and we Elon get these Musk? ideas from those people. But that oh, yeah, Elon Musk, Musk is also from South people. Africa. But as a white person... It's not really a culture. You can have culture like I'm hella Irish, obviously, and that's a culture. But the right, being but when you say white culture, I don't think uh, white has a culture. No, nah, like, I feel like it's the racist, like the skin tone, maybe. That's right. White, white is not per a, se. It's, it's not a culture. I can't relate to you just because you're white. I think you could say that. Should've been, should've been Americans. If we were culture. all black, could I relate to you guys? If just because of the color of our skin? Yeah, I don't even get to already. Experiences, like they'll get discriminated <laughs> against and I'm not gonna lie. Um yeah, so man. I do I, kind of have to agree with her or no, actually I disagree with her. Yeah, because like, if you are black in America, there is kind of that um a likeness because they still I mean immigrants still get discriminated against, black Americans still get discriminated against. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. so i think the only way it doesn't really work is if you put it as white people have culture if you say black people have culture they do have culture um, mexicans have culture you're not getting discriminated against because of your skin color they can both relate to that but right. I also feel like with culture, we branch out, we try different things, we want to do different things, so maybe we've lost a little bit of our culture. Maybe we're creating a new culture. <laughs> there you go. So what? I believe in reverse racism. So, do you guys know what reverse racism is? I have an idea, but I don't know fully. It's just racism. It, so reverse racism is racism towards white people. Um... But people don't feel like you can be racist to white people. I don't agree with that, man. I feel like it's, racism comes in different forms. So the new definition of it, of racism, is that uh, not only is it a discrimination towards a specific race, it is also um, power has to be involved. So because white people had all the power in the past, it's set basically saying that it's impossible to be racist to them. Um, but by that logic, could, couldn't you argue that Hitler wasn't racist towards the Jews? He believed that the Jews had all of the power. True. Uh, I kind of want to see what they say here. I feel like she's definitely going to say she disagrees. Yeah, 100%. I don't know what that is. We can explain it. Okay, what is I'll stay here. <laughs> Reverse racism okay, what is, it? is like the someone fuck being up. racist against you because you are white. Like, do you believe that someone can be racist against a white person? Oh, see, immediately. Yeah. 
I grew up where it was completely like Hispanic culture. I was constantly made fun of because I was white. Oh, white people can't dance. White people look stupid, whatever. They shouldn't say white people can't dance, but I, then, they can't dance. No, <laughs> yeah, I just can't say it. Just I like how she's like so focused on the like dance part instead of like the actual thing at like. Right. That Even question. though I will say I can't deny what she said because I no. cannot dance to save my fucking life. I can dance. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. I'm trying to teach myself how to gritty. It's not going well. <laughs> <laughs> But Yo, we're gonna like, need a gritty on stream. Honest, though, like, they would say those <laughs> um, I'd have to change my camera and clean up it's before. It's like a hard pill to swallow because if I turned around and said black people can't dance, I'd get hell for that. Oh, of course. And if someone says the same words to me, it's somehow okay because you have to look at the difference of it, though. And I relate to you. I guarantee you, she's gonna bring up a power structure. I grew up with all latino or black friends oh, bro, and what she said white about friends. the and white yeah, people can dance bro that's just a racist joke bro so okay so it serious that's not necessarily true because stereotypes are i mean there's a reason why they're stereotyped um men t or white people typically i feel don't have near as much uh coordination as african americans so such as African Americans have a um, better fast twitch muscle fiber, making it so that way then they're able to react faster than white people are. Like, there's nothing racist about that. That's just facts. Mm hmm I made fun of for being like the white girl. I was gringa. And I didn't oh. take offense to it because the huge part about racism is that there's hate and oppression behind it i fucking knew it i knew oppression was gonna get fucking introduced into it racism has nothing to do directly with oppression it has to do with fucking is. um basically I'm also stupid, so. <laughs> it's okay so oppression is um basically it's where the higher power um limits the mobility of their the people who they believe as lower than them, making it so that way then they are less likely to succeed. Oh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, okay. And as a white person in America, I do not feel oppressed. And I definitely think that we should take the log out of our own eyes before worrying about the sawdust in other people's. Like, I totally agree huh? with that, but there is sawdust. Basically what she's saying is that we definitely need to focus on other people before we focus on ourselves, but there is some stuff to focus on ourselves. Uh, okay. So that's kind of what, just what I'm saying. For me, I feel like anything we do can come out racist to any other type of race. But at the same time, if they say something mean or racist to us that we feel is racist, it kind of gets brushed okay. off. I, yep. When I think of the word racism, I think more towards oppression. So that's why I'm in the disagree. Like, I'll deal with someone just being mean to me, but whatever. So racism, according to literally every single dictionary out there is the hatred or prejudice towards somebody specifically based on race it has nothing to do with oppression it has nothing to do with uh, hierarchy structures that irritates me so much when people are like nope you can't be racist towards white people because white people have all the power Of course. Strongly agree. Kind of, sorry. Wait, what? You guys are cutting out. I know. So, focusing on race divides us. What do you guys think? I, I mean, I would agree. Definitely it does. Like, if we could get rid of the term race altogether, I feel like we would be a much happier civilization. A hundred percent. Because it like it determines like the way people react so much in my opinion. Oh, of course. Um I mean I'm not gonna go into like fact like specifics because it's just not worth it. Right. But I'm sure we can all think of like exactly what I'm thinking talking about. It's just like when you put that word on something, it's just fucking I feel like ruins everything. So it's there's it's so much more to it than 
race itself. Like we're all the fucking same, but people have to treat differently because someone else looks different. Yeah. We're the same fucking people, but people like to just be annoying about everything and just make shit so much more complicated than it really needs to be. Mm-hmm. We, we, our world would be so much better. Um, if it wasn't so really racially divided. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Every, like, everything would be so much more peaceful. Right, like what happened to judging people based on the content of their character, not by the color of their skin? I feel yeah. like us as a nation, majority of people have completely lost that plot. They, I, I feel like um, America is getting more racially divided because they're like, Look at this oppression that happened 200 some years ago. Actually, it's probably closer to like. So I believe Jim Crow laws ended about 50 years ago. But that's no one in this generation had anything to do with Jim Crow laws. Why are we trying to take it out on today's youth? Yeah. No fucking way. Dude. I think it's important. To I knew she was going to be a fucking us together. There is a race issue in America. And if we just avoid it altogether and pretend like it's not happening, nothing's going to change, in my opinion. But how do we get better just focusing on that one thing? Right. Like, right. So my big I thing. Think... Oh, I'll let mm-hmm. you go. I'll let you go. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. I was going to say my big thing is that, don't get me wrong, I fully believe that we need to help and support these underdeveloped communities but Mm. at what's at what point do like at at what responsibility is it the government to bring you out of poverty and what percentage of it is it for your own to get yourself out of poverty like Uh, yeah uh, do you have anything you were gonna add no i mean it's just like i feel like when you're saying that you disagree that race doesn't divide us like i feel like there really has to be a good argument because if you're not opening your fucking eyes or just like paying attention to the world on a daily basis i feel like you would know it does divide everything oh of course and like just alter people's minds so i don't know how people disagree with this but i'm interested to see what they say I kind of was thinking about the question differently because if all I'm thinking about when I meet someone is, oh, I'm white and she's not white and I'm white and she's not white, like that for me, that's like what focusing on race is. Yeah, we're never going to be happy unless we just like all work together and just like treat each other like each other. You know, like there is no race. We are all humans. We all belong to the human race. We're not there. I feel like people who have that perspective might also say like, oh, I don't see color or try not, you know, try to have that attitude. I don't think that helps anybody. I think we need. What's wrong with saying that you don't see color? What, wait, what's wrong with saying you don't see color? Yeah. What do you mean? So, <laughs> so basically when people say that they don't see color, they don't... Um, bas- what I understand from it is they're basically saying something along the lines of um, I'm not racist, I treat everybody no matter what color they are the same. Mm-hmm. But people have turned that into, oh, you're saying you're colorblind? That means you're completely ignoring all the past discriminations about it. And it's like, that yeah. has nothing to do with it. We need to, like, to respect each other's backgrounds, and like, that is only going to happen if, if we, we do see color. We do like, appreciate everybody's differences. Cultural appropriation. I don't know what the fuck that is. So cultural appropriation is uh, appropriating someone's uh, someone else's culture. So like a white person wearing a um, sombrero or um, basically... For, I'm going to say this because I can't think of a different word. Pretending to be a different culture. So like on uh, Halloween, dressing up as a Native American or dressing up as a samurai or something, they're basically saying that's wrong because you're appropriating someone else's culture. I mean, I could understand how they could think it's wrong. I don't think it's wrong at all. Um, 
Uh, okay, okay. So I, I guess, I guess what I mean is, if it's out of like to make fun of it, then yeah, that's wrong. But if it's to like support it in a way and like bring awareness, then I feel like it's fine. So, uh, I guess, I guess, I think it all depends on how far you go. So, like, yeah, yeah. blackface. Obviously, there's been a lot of uh, history behind blackface. So I understand that being a more taboo thing to stay away from. But if my little kid wants to dress as a uh, mariachi player or band player or whatever, like I'm going to, they can do, if it go right the fuck ahead, I don't see anything wrong with that. Mm-hmm. How I see it is to appropriate is to appreciate. Mm-hmm. You got anything, Glow? Mm-mm. And, and Glow, if you disagree with us at any point, please feel free to speak up. No, I'm chilling, bro. Three, two, one. Yeah, I think cultural appropriation is very real. You see all the time, like Coachella. You know, we're in a. That was right. The third people, one was going to be the. Dresses without knowing how important that is to native people. Yeah, exactly. I think there's a difference between respecting the culture and completely disrespecting the culture. But then also if you want to dress up on Halloween like a, a geisha because you like the costume, you think it's a beautiful costume, that I wouldn't say is... I wouldn't do that. I think if you're going to go and dress up as a geisha, without knowing the importance of it and just being like, well, this is cute. Like, I'm going to put this on. And also, even if you did know the importance and you're like, I don't know, Halloween is just like a weird holiday to be dressing up as anybody else's culture. You can say the same thing about any costume. Are you going to tell a six-year-old girl that she can't dress up like a pirate because she doesn't know the history of pirates? Like, well, that's very different. Well, so it's, it's just like... That's- Why is that different? Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that bitch, though. Oh, I, I completely fucking agree. I knew she was going to be a bitch from the start. Yeah, just looking <laughs> at her face, honestly. Who's the uh, third one? Yeah, yeah the, the, one with her hand right now. the one with the little badge um, in the background in this shot. The one where you can actually see her face. That's very yeah. Those are, those are children. <laughs> I think it's a lot of uh, because I think wearing that thing at Coachella. What like, get in here? Feel like the fuck in here. I would see that as that person mocking someone. Well, even if they don't intentionally mean it, it's yeah. still offensive. So I've come to the conclusion. Oh, I've come to the conclusion. Not at all. Oh, I agree. I've come to the conclusion that if I do dress up as something for Halloween, and someone like tries to like scold me for it. I'm literally just going to lie and be like, yeah, I'm part of that culture. Yeah, what are they going to do? Get, spit in this cup and get me a DNA test real quick. Right. Uh, nah, stupid ass. Yeah, I, I, the whole cultural approach, like the whole point of America is to be a mixing pot. We are supposed to bring our cultures together. Like, like if everyone was the same, it would be a, such a fucking boring world. Oh, I agree. I, I I don't really know what else to say there. <laughs> yeah, no, this is like a weird topic for me. Oof. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> um, I'm gonna let you guys speak on this first, and then I'll I'll, I'll comment back. I'm gonna let Glow speak on this first. Oh <laughs> uh, shit. Oh. What's that Theo Vaughn quote I said last time, bro? I don't know what you said. <laughs> I think Theo Vaughn said something about, listen, man, if you say it, you know. But let me switch it up real quick. Uh, so. Oh, my, did not. This is, um. I got up one time and even just said, what's up, man? Oh, that's. I'm trying to find it. So, um. Yeah, like I said, I'll I'll let you guys talk before I before I. Uh... I'm gonna let Glow speak on this first. Because <laughs> I have an interesting position on this one. I feel like I do too. Ah, uh, here we go. He says, "I don't do it unless you do." <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it at that. Okay. 
I can understand that. So I've heard actually, I I, I had this topic, or I, I was talking to a kid, and this was like a couple months ago mm-hmm. uh, at water polo practice. So it, from what they said, okay, this is what they said. This is not my opinion, okay. It if if it's being said in a song, then um it's okay to them because it's not being set out of like a okay, slur of like male intent exactly but if it's like hard r then it's kind of you know fucked up but th- from what they all said it would be different if it's in a song than just saying it to say it or using it in a bad way mm-hmm. so i don't know i i don't know about this one all right, so know. my uh, hot take on this is, so it's twofold. So the first part is um, I think words should either be open for everybody to use or they should not be used to, for anybody. Um, that way then we can easily cut out the BS, don't have to worry about, but this person said it. Granted, I... I have never said it. I do not care to ever say it. Um, But the second part of that is the historical value of the hard R um, obviously is very male intentional, um, but the black community has kind of co-opted it into a soft A. So it's to the point where it has almost a completely different meaning than the past historical um so it's kind of at that point like does it really mean the same thing i mean you have uh the black community says it to each other quite a bit and it uh it means like that's my homie that's my friend that's my brother um whereas Seeing black people say to black people, black people say to white people, white people say right. to black people, and they don't get mad. Though. It's like, right. Whereas it just means homie nowadays. If, if a yeah. white person were to say it, even trying to be in that same context as, um, this is my homie, this is my brother, this is my friend, like it's still to the point. I mean, obviously, right now, where if he says it around the round people, he's gonna get his fucking ass beat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my uh, take on it's, it. It's a weird, it's a weird topic to. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like it goes to the points where if I am singing a song where it has that word, I will switch it to just man. Um, the the song by the baby, rock star, I think it is. Um, oh. Every time it says the n word, I'm just like man. Oh, fuck! I'm trying to think of that song in my head now. I've been popping uh, bellies, man. I yeah. feel just like a rock star. That's post. Ignore my. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, that's post. Malone. Yeah, that's post. Malone and uh. <laughs> oh, Lamborghini, Lamborghini. Fuck a cop car. I know. What you, yeah, I know what you're talking about though. Yeah, but that is the that is the song. Oh, right? yeah, I know what you're talking about now. I'm sorry, I know what you're talking about. Okay, so that is by the baby. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I had so. to make sure I was correct. <laughs> Yeah, I got you now. Okay. All right, I'm going to press play. Yep. And you know that guy. That guy in the blue shirt is capping his ass off. Right, he's just trying to <laughs> save face, make it sound with them. People don't hate him back home. Yeah. Look, bro, he's turning red. It's like I'm not sitting there thinking all these horrible things about black people, and I'm like, it's just in the song, and when I'm singing, it comes out. There's like two different forms of the word. There ends with an er and with an a, and like with my friends, they're like, oh, you can say it with an a, like that won't hurt my feelings. That's what people told me. Too. But also, like even when I'm in the car by myself, like I still feel like it's not my place. Right. Maybe I'll, like, I can understand that position. With an a at the end, you know, like if I'm by myself, but like out of the respect for other people, I just think it's more appropriate not to say it at all. Do you guys think rappers should stop putting it in their songs? No. I feel like yes. Why? If you think it's yeah. wrong, though, why? I don't think it's wrong because the history of the N word come, you know, slave owners would call. Bro, will you shut the fuck up? The N word with a hard <laughs> R at the end. 
Yeah. This bitch is so I don't even think they would yeah, say with the hard eye. Right. I think it was like R.O. or something like that. Um, so yeah. back in, I mean, back in his like hundred or fifty to a hundred years ago, they definitely would say hard R. Like, and that I was. I thought it was always like uh, G.R.O. Um, so that was also part of it, but the big word was. Yeah, because I mean, even if in um, Spanish, isn't the term for black Negro? That's the black. Or that's how to say black in Spanish. Yeah, negro. Yeah, yeah I, so you say it in Spanish, but like, bro, this. I can't this do the little hard. accent. I agree. It is. That painful history and like be like. F you, like, I'm going to claim this word. I think they should be allowed to do that. I don't think as a white she person, moved. I have that right. <laughs> oh, bro, 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 you just reminded me of something. That was derogatory. What's up? Um, sixth grade, we had this uh, Spanish. Oh, I got we, had it, we had to speak Spanish the whole class, or at least try to, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. and I'm fluent, and I asked my black friend to, you know, let me borrow a pen in Spanish. He's like, what color, red or black? And I said black in Spanish. Oh, God. And he fucking snitched on me. What? Like a little bitch and said I called him the hard eye. What the fuck? Like, come on now, bro. And I never got in trouble because the teacher, you know, had my back. Right? I mean, I, mean, right I feel there. like I feel like as soon as you were to, like, yeah, explain yourself, they'd be like, oh, yeah, you're, yeah, you're you know, fine. In sixth grade, you're just trying to get your friend in trouble on some bullshit. Yeah, that's in sixth grade, you're just trying to get a fucking pen. <laughs> Towards them, <laughs> they should one hundred percent have the right but, to do that. But do you think it's okay for a white person to sing the song? See, that's where that? we're like all on the fence. It's like I feel like it's we're, it's like... just it's a word used as uh, like uh, my friend basically, and like just like she said, if they want to take that back from its horrible origins, then I'm totally fine with that. But as, as a white person, you can't say that word without a uh, feeling a certain way. Yeah, so but I, I have that's a question. Don't... If... So no, you can say the word without feeling yeah. a certain way. But, I mean, there's still always going to be that historical connotation to it. Yeah, right. Nah, I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't even say that shit in a song. Like, if I'm in the car by myself, like, I don't even say the word in a right. song. Like I said, I say I, it in my, I'll be honest, I say it in my head, yes, but I don't <laughs> like, like, it's just like, I don't, I don't like the, I don't like saying it. I, although, I was put in a fucking position last year, where I was like surrounded by a group of kids, and they were like, you ever say it? Obviously, I have, and I was like, probably in my head or like to right. myself. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I used to say it all the time in middle school. Well, yeah, you're still I mean, a person like, of color, so it's not as wrong bro, for you bro, to do it. At a certain point, you just don't want to say it. There's no point of saying it. Oh, I agree. But you know, I feel like there's honestly, no purpose bro, sometimes. You feel like what? It was all. Half black, half Hispanic school, bro. And like, you just like say it out of nowhere, bro, and then you just keep saying it until you get tired of it. I believe it. I don't know. I've never really felt the urge to say it, or um, I've never felt the need to say it either. So, like, it's just kind of, uh, I will straight up switch the words in a song to make it so that way, then I don't even have to really think about that word. Um, I don't know. It's it's weird. Bro, they it's should a... do this with like uh how old are these guys like twenty five, right? Around there. Probably around there, yeah. And then they should do it with like kids that just turned eighteen. Ooh. 18. That'd be really interesting. You if they didn't put it in their songs, you wouldn't say it, right? No, yeah. 100%. So are they causing people to say that word more often? Because she wouldn't say it if it's it not wasn't white enough. people's place to tell them what they can and cannot use. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I live in no. Uh, what? No. No. Well, what is the question? Uh, I I live a, live a privileged life. Yeah, that's basically they're saying I live a privileged life. That's the prompt. I do not live a privileged life. I don't either. I, I say, oh God. I was gonna say I freaking was in foster homes at basically birth. Um, I had a broken leg a few months after I was born. I was born Damn. at three pounds fifteen ounces, almost two months premature. Um, not to mention having to go through 
four different foster homes and shelters, finally getting adopted by my grandparents when I turned four. And my grandparents, basically, they already had four kids of their own, and then they adopted four more kids. So by the time they adopted us, they were so wiped out and tired that they weren't, they literally didn't teach me jack shit. Like, the only thing my dad really taught me was how to be stubborn. Mm -hmm. I, so here's the thing, right? I, okay, it's it's interesting because, so my parents got divorced when I was young, right? Mm -hmm. And so, I, like, I don't remember any of this shit, right? This is all, like, what I've been told. So, my dad got married again to my then stepmom, okay? Mm -hmm. And then it was like me, my brother, and then two stepbrothers. And then eventually my one brother went to college. And it was just me and my two stepbrothers, my stepmom and my dad. Thing was, though, like, my stepmom was fucking trash with money. Like, she did not know how to save her anything. Mm -hmm. like, it was always coming down to, like, like, um, basically, paycheck to paycheck. And a hundred percent and not even like it was having to borrow from one of my other brothers oh, shit. it got to the point like it was just horrible like there was even like a time where like she would like go to the dollar store and get like a lot of stuff because again she was horrible at saving money we ate out a ton we'd waste so like she would buy all this like extra shit we didn't need mm -hmm. so she passes away last january okay and obviously it was hard but like my dad was able to like get money like figured out mm -hmm. and like he is like very very like smart with it because now it's just me my other my brother that went to college that just moved back uh last year or not nah, he moved back in like march or may or something so it's just the three of us now like he i like i really commend him because he was put in a shitty situation where he found out all the stuff and he dug himself out of this hole and like he just he kept going man like he did not stop until like he was where he should have been and he's still not 100 percent where he needs to be but he is 25 fucking times better mm -hmm. so to say like and don't get around like i i have a pretty like decent life obviously there's like hard parts about it but i drive a nice car i have a house well i don't have a house but like mm -hmm. there's you, a roof you live over in my house. head there's a roof over my head there's food in the house a lot of and if you like a lot of people don't have that luxury all oh, right a lot of people don't have a car at 18 a lot of people struggle to you know just do basic stuff and have basic stuff like a house even a one bedroom apartment like there was a i don't know if you guys follow like sports or anything but so the ufc right they signed this kid who's 18 years old he's the youngest fighter to ever fight in ufc oh yeah and Mexican, this kid yeah, yeah raul rosas jr this yeah. kid's got fucking talent like mm -hmm. he really he made a like a 30 year old look like a bitch okay <laughs> so yeah, he and i think he even said like they were like sleeping on the floor of a one-bedroom apartment struggling and his parents never gave up on his fucking dream and now look where he is he's in the ufc he's still in high school this kid's a senior in high school jesus christ and fighting professionally so there's people like that, like they, they go through hell and they go through all these hardships to better themselves. And that's the thing. When I see people giving up on something, like they're really struggling and they are just like, fuck this, I'm done. Mm -hmm. And like, I try and tell them like, you cannot be done because this only gets you stronger. Yeah. Once you get through this, like life has hell. No nothing about life is easy. And people who don't go through hardships and problems, they don't like, it's just, they don't understand. They're going to be so closed minded because they didn't, they don't know what it was like to go through stuff or struggle with anything. That's why I always tell people who are going through something, you have to keep going. You're going to make it through the other side. It always You're gets better. You're going to be okay. It always gets better. Even if you don't see it right the fuck now, if you feel like there's no answers, there's always a reason something is happening and you might not see it today tomorrow the next day but eventually you'll think back to that and be like i went through this but it's got me to where i am now it yes. disciplines you it's about how you react to these shitty situations that's it's that's the type of thing that makes you 
character who you are. Right. What's the saying? It separates you. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. A hundred percent. You could get like, even like, look at like people who have like severe injuries, like where they say they're never going to be able to fucking walk again. You're never going to be able to play sports Mm -hmm. again, dude. There's football players who get fucking cancer. Like there's a chiefs player. I think his name was Eric Berry or something. He got cancer. And he fucking came back after he beat cancer. People who say, yeah, your leg's going to get lost. Like, you're going to have to cut your leg off. They fight through. Mm -hmm. And they play football again. Or they play hockey again. Whatever the hell it is. It's literally mental. Like you just said, it's 90% mental. Mm -hmm. It's just, that's what shapes you. Anything you got to add, Glow? I know that was kind of off the topic of it, but I just... It's kind okay. Of, they kind of float. I it. I understood everything you're going at, and it flowed very well to the point where I'm not upset. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're good then. <laughs> um, I fully believe that that third chick in the back strongly agree. I think the first person's gonna go somewhat disagree. Um, second person's gonna go somewhat agree. The dude in blue is going to go to disagree. Uh, next person is going to go disagree. And then the last person is going to go agree. That's what I think. Three, two, one. Oh, shit. I was wrong. I was way wrong. It's so sad to say because I never say it out loud, but it's the truth. Is I was like, wrong in every single one of them. By the police. I always feel like I have a little bit of a one-up because I'm white, because I'm a woman. And I feel so bad Uh, that that's the truth. uh, Um, That's not the truth. Everyone should... (laughs) In my opinion, it's about how you react. If you're a douchebag, their cop's going to be a douchebag back. If you're chill, if you're listening, if you're cooperating, it makes things so much smoother. Oh, of course. Typically, when you see these stories of the person getting shot, it's they were completely irrational. They weren't um, cooperating with anything. Uh, the biggest thing I try to tell people is the side of the road is not the place to fight a ticket. Yeah. Like it, you can disagree with the police officers in every way, shape, shape, and form. Get a FOIA request. Request that shit before your freaking court date, and go fight that shit in court, not on the side of the street. but this is a real thing and it's unfortunate. For me as an individual, I feel like I'm not privileged. Sure, like white people background came from like being higher up on the scale, but I've gone through really hard things before. You know, I don't feel like I'm superior over other people. So as an individual, I don't feel like I'm privileged. I think privileged, I guess, I don't really think that I'm above other people. I just think that naturally I'm treated differently. Yeah, it's like perception. It's just perceptions. Yeah, I think that's a it depends on who you talk to. So, like, I've had it where um, I was at a gas station and I was putting air in my tire. And this guy in a black car came up and he was waiting for me to get done. And I was trying to be very nice. Once I got done, I literally stood there for a moment waiting for him to get out of his car to be like, oh, here you go. He straight up didn't talk to me, didn't do anything just kind of nodded his head to be like, go hang it back up, even though he was he needed the air hose. So I was like, why not just take the kindness and be like, okay, yeah, I can. I need to fill up my hose. This way, then it's less walking I have to do. Yeah, some people are just like that, though. Like, they don't like getting help. Or Bro, can, I, can I ask what race the person was? He was black. This was when I lived in Minneapolis, and this was like four blocks away from where I live. It was this really rundown holiday that I was like, I just, I think I had like seven PSI left in my tire, and was like, I Damn, fucking shit, bro. That shit was oh, basically what? Flat. What the fuck? Yeah, so my, I, I think my tire uh, has the smallest fucking hole in it, to the point where. Yeah. Like so, my PSI is supposed to be at thirty six. Um, the next day it could be at thirty four. 
then it could be at 34 for like oh, a fuck. week before it finally drops down to maybe like 27 or some shit like that. Um, Damn. So like, right now my tire has 24 PSI in it, but like... To, what uh, should it be at? 36. Oh, fuck. Dude, I but, think you need a new tire. And it's it's not that big of a deal. I'm guessing there's just a small little nail or something in there, and I I don't feel like patching it up and shit. It's literally the smallest thing where I maybe have to worry about it like once every other week. Yeah. See, whenever like it first like got cold here, like in the very like when the first day it was like fucking cold. Mm-hmm. I I had like a low tire pressure light on in my car, and I so I go to class and everything and i was talking to my dad i called my dad i was like hey like um should like should i go get this like filled up at the like you know how there's like the jiffy lubes and shit like yeah he was like yeah like go have him like check it and make sure like it's all good and i so i go there and that dude was like yeah your one tire was 12 psi below what it should have been yeah that doesn't so, surprise me. It's not the end of the world, but obviously you want to get it filled up. A hundred percent, yeah. You guys it's want to hear worth. something funny that's completely off track, but kind of on track with cars? Mm-hmm. So when my girlfriend first got her car, she didn't know that her car needed an oil change. She also didn't know that if you're not going to get an oil change, you need to put more oil into the car. <laughs> so her first car she had for like three, four months but no, I think it was like seven, eight months, and then the engine blew. Oh, wow. I think wow. you told me this story. Yeah, it was just, when she first told me, I was like, how do you not know a car needs an oil change? She just goes, nobody told me. All right, yeah, I'm going to press play again. Coffee. We're almost done. Misconception. I have privilege that i didn't ask for it it's just society sees slowly as, moving like, over standard for whatever reason and because of that i get treated differently and um why privilege you know like you said it's not about what you've gone through or what you experience it's a hundred percent how the world sees me i am proud to be white and i'm pro to be strongly white. agree I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm glad I was born white. Like, if I had to deal with the victim mentality of today's age, I don't know how I would still be alive. Bro, off topic, off topic, Mexicans are the most racist people you'll ever meet, bro. I've actually heard that before. I, I obviously don't know the so validity true, of it, bro. but that's because even their language, like culture and language is direct and upfront. Like, if you're going to call a lady bigger, you're not going to say, yeah, that lady is slightly bigger. You're going to be like, El Gordo. Yeah, bro. Oh, wait, what did you say? Mexican, El Gordo? Mexicans, yeah. Like, crossing over the border, not, you know, not like me that I was born here. Mm-hmm. Not... Well, so, Cause... America is actually one of the least racist countries out there. We allow. Oh, what? We yeah, bro, allow bro, bro. the bro. most oh, amount see, of immigrants. Yeah, we are the most culturally. Di- there is no other country as culturally diverse as America. You know, African people don't like American black people. I did not. Uh, I mean, that doesn't really surprise me, but I did not know that. I mean, granted, yeah. if you think about it, the um, African American or the. Africans that got shipped over here during the slave trade and whatnot, it's not like these were free people just wandering around and then all of a sudden the European settlers came up and was like, nope, you're coming with me. It was, these people were already slaves and um, they're already slaves to other Africans in that culture. So it was them selling them into the slave trade. Um, yeah. So I, bro, if that blondie didn't have a big ass forehead, she'd be hot. <laughs> Jeez. That's all I've been thinking about, bro, to be honest. Are you talking about the one in the front? Yeah. Oh. She's got a fucking landing pad. Anyways. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Three, two, one.
I feel like she's gonna say disagree. Yep, I knew it. Yeah. I'm gonna go strongly agree. She just I am not proud of you. What the fuck she do you just, mean? She just talked about having I think, like, like, guiltily, like, I'm, like, happy that I'm not oppressed, but I'm not proud of, like, things people have done in the past. When I, when I think of being proud of something, I think of something I worked for, or that, um, I, yeah, I had to get, I, I had to do nothing to be white. Absolutely nothing, and nothing was taken from me because you had to be the bestest swimmer. Like saying I'm a proud <laughs> white person is a completely different saying than saying I'm a proud black person. Because when you hear I'm a proud black person, I think empowerment, I think strength, I think courage. Well, so with what she's saying, yes, the reason why you see it that way is because when people said I'm proud to be white, typically it was KKK members or something yeah. along that line being. Which completely like destroyed the saying of how to be white. Like, whereas um, you had a culture within the black community that they were severely oppressed. So to say, like, hey, I'm proud to be black, it, it has a different meaning, but only societally, if that makes sense. So, like, yeah. if you hear somebody saying, I'm proud to be white today, nine times out of ten, you're not thinking that person is a racist Ku Klux Klan member. Let's continue. Courage, I think, you know, all these amazing things that the black community has done and accomplished throughout the years. But then when you say, I am a strong, or I'm a proud white person, already there's so much, like, hate... Yeah involved in that thing about that is like like how you said someone who says i'm proud to be black that's empowerment why aren't i allowed to be proud to be white what makes it wrong you haven't been oppressed. yeah what are you proud of just your skin color because yes that is wrong so you're so saying I, I no that's not wrong to be white because i don't have a culture no I, <laughs> that's basically what that's he's saying, saying. I, that I, when white people say they're proud to be white a lot of times at least in my opinion they're just they're talking about their skin color that they're not a different race. I think that's wrong. Yeah. But um, as like we were talking about, as a proud black person, they've been oppressed. That a lot of their culture was stolen from them. And a lot of the reasons that I don't like proud to be white is because it has the the Nazis right. used it. The 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 KKK. The Nazis never said I'm proud to be white. If anything, uh. they were specifically blonde hair, blue eyes. Even Hitler didn't match up to his ideal perfect person. K used it. I don't want to be associated with any of those things, so I'm just gonna completely right. stay away from that. Sure, I'm not proud of like what my culture's done, but at the same time, like I would not want to be anything else. If I had to choose another race, I don't know what I would be. I'm okay with where I am, even though I'm getting backlash about being culture. Huh? The, bro, didn't she disagree with white people having culture? Um, let me look at I, I... I don't remember. I remember. So all these people need to like figure out what the fuck they think. Because <laughs> like, it was like it's that. a different like question than like, nah, I'm gonna go against everything I just said ten minutes ago. Really? That's cool. Oh, I definitely hated that fucking what one the the third person back. Fucking, yeah, I knew one, almost every single decision she was gonna make. She looks like a Karen. She looks like she'd like yell at someone for fucking the most weird thing ever. Kinda, yeah. Like, uh, have you ever heard or seen the video? Um, this white lady goes into this one restaurant. I don't know what it is, but she's basically freaking out at them, being like, "In America, we speak oh, English." Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. And then yep. she's she says something along the lines of, yep. "In America, we get it right the first time." Yep. Like. I feel like she she reminds me of that person. Like the whole point of America is to be a mixing pot. We are supposed to bring our cultures together. Right? Like what happened to judging people based on the content of their character, not by the color of their skin? I feel yeah. like us as a nation, majority of people have completely lost that plot. Don't get me wrong, I fully believe that we need to help and support these underdeveloped communities but mm -hmm. at what's 
at what point do like at, at what responsibility is it the government to bring you out of poverty and what percentage of it is it for your own to get yourself out of poverty hey everyone if you like the video please feel free to give it a like as well as subscribe to see future content i'm trying to have new videos every monday and thursday as well as check out the live stream monday thursday 9 p.m central thank you